you'd be forgiven for thinking the British never stopped doing this pomp and pageantry thing. But this military parade today outside Windsor Castle is just the beginning of celebrations for Queen Elizabeth's Diamond Jubilee. That's 60 years on the throne. If you could say something to the Queen, what would you say? I'd say to her, well done, Mum, we love you. You are absolutely the bee's knees. In all that time, the man they call Union Jack has hardly ever missed a chance to see and even meet Her Majesty. When I say cracking, she's really a nice person to meet. Cracking meaning good. Yeah. Sadly, Jack missed the cut on this most exclusive of gatherings when the Queen, joined by Prince William and his wife Catherine, hosted Jubilee lunch for dozens of fellow monarchs. But the Queen faced protests for dining with dictators by inviting people like the King of Bahrain, who's cracking down hard while his people struggle for democracy, and the King of Swaziland, who's accused of living in luxury while his people struggle to survive. But such details do little to take the sheen off preparations for the jolly Jubilee. There's the specially designed pixelated Jubilee cake, and bakeries are cranking out Jubilee cookies and chocolates. And there was plenty more today. This fly pass with 78 aircraft involved is just the beginning of two weeks of events, culminating in a pageant down the River Thames and a concert in the backyard of Buckingham Palace. You'll never get sick of seeing the Queen. No. <laughs> Even if you sit out for hours upon hours, for that split second, it's yep. worth it. And it doesn't look as if the Queen is getting sick of the excitement either. Charlie Daggett, a CBS News, Windsor, England.